Were you a naturally organized kid? I wasn't. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com and today I'm gonna to share with you a few tips on how to get your kids to be more organized. I don't think I was very organized as a child. I think I was more of a do things when I'm told kid, but I didn't plan for things ahead of time or think about how doing something now would make things easier for me later. I think it's quite a stretch for us to expect our kids to be organized and get things done without being asked or reminded, but I also don't want to be the mum who has to repeatedly ask for things to get done or who feels like nagging is the norm or who just gives up and does everything herself. Any small step we can take towards encouraging our kids to be more organized is going to make life a little easier now and will certainly help them later on as they become teens and young adults. So with that in mind, let's talk about ways you can get your kids to be more organized at home and make life a little easier for you this year. My first tip is to go one step at a time. If you give your kids too many jobs at once, it's going to feel overwhelming and nothing will get done. So start with one job to be done each day and focus on just that one until it becomes a habit. A good one to start with is making their bed every morning when they get out of bed. It's a nice and easy one to get the hang of. My next tip is to break the jobs down into more manageable steps. Now your kid might not be quite ready for unload the dishwasher and put everything away yet, but you can try sort the clean dishes into piles on the counter. It's one simple step that doesn't involve heavy lifting or going back and forth between the dishwasher and the cupboards yet, and it will appeal to your child's natural instinct to sort and match as part of play. Once the dishes are sorted, you can put them away together and over time, then let your child do more and more of the putting away when they start to be able to handle it easily. My next tip is to keep the system simple. Think about how you can simplify as much as possible. Let's say you're using a checklist to help your child get ready in the morning. Here are a few hiccups you can avoid so that the process becomes simpler, faster. If your child doesn't read well yet, you can use pictures on their checklist instead of words. You can post the checklist where it's easy to see every day. And the fewer steps on the checklist, the better, because an overwhelmed mind tends to freeze, especially in children. The next tip is to role model the behavior. Yes, this one kind of sucks a little, but it really does work. When your kids watch you follow a simple routine day by day, it becomes normal and they tend to do the same. My final tip is to do it the easy way. Play to your natural strengths and talents and let the kids see that they can do that too. So if you hate hanging washing outside, for example, where the heat and the spiders can get to you at the washing line, which is pretty common here in Australia, then hang your clothes on easy to reach clothes horses indoors. The kids will see that it's okay to make a job easier because it means it gets done and then you can move on to the fun stuff. Another example, if you hate feeling rushed, chances are your kids do too. So we like to build buffer time into our routines, 15 minutes here, 30 minutes there, and that way everybody can get their stuff done without feeling rushed or stressed about it. I hope you found these tips helpful and I'd love to know if you have some too. So come on over and join us at the Beautifully Organized Mums Facebook page. I'll leave a link down below so you can find us easily and share your tips. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh, I don't think we're even gonna have any bloopers today. I'm always a bit worried about stuffing my teeth though. Ooh, hi, I just wanted to let you know before you watch the next video, we have some really good resources that are totally free and we run regular workshops online so you can join me live if you want to. Check out the links below and hopefully I'll see you there soon.